again year four hope you're having a good day so far we're going to read some more of our story now the penguin who wanted to find out i wonder if any of us had a chance to think about our challenge from last time why do we think otto likes being the first chick if we know that he's um a curious penguin because the title says he wants to find out new things um and we know that the blurb also says that he wants to teach all the other chicks all they need to know so we've got two big clues there in the title and in the blurb why do we think that Otto really likes being the first chick? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's an opportunity, isn't it, to be the leader? So he's, the, he's the oldest chick. It's like being the older brother or sister. He kind of gets to make the rules a bit. Um, or at least he thinks he does. And he likes to maybe boss the other chicks about. It's interesting in that last, last, that last little bit that we read last time that he's sort of getting Leo to join in with him, isn't he? He's encouraging Leo to walk on the ice. Leo's a bit scared, but Otto's like sort of the big brother, the big sister, trying to get Leo to join in with him. Let's carry on from page 20. So Otto has just found out that he's going to need to look after the other chicks in the clutch. And the clutch is like a little group of penguins. So it's not the whole, the whole group, it's a little group. You will, Claudia said. You're the first chicks. You'll have to look after the whole clutch. You mean all of them? Otto looked around slowly. There were penguins as far as he could see and nearly all of them had chicks or eggs on their feet. No, just your own gang around here. They'll keep you busy though. They did. A few days later, Otto and Leo had lots of new friends. When it was warm enough, they tumbled from their father's feet and played together. The very little ones like Gusto just didn't understand they must stay together to be safe. Otto, watching the skewers circling hopefully above them, had to keep rounding them up. Gusto! He was always having to yell. Come back, you must stay close to me. Why? said Gusto. I only want to see what's over there. Because I say so. He's so bossy. You'll end up at the skewers dinner if you wander around by yourself. We must all stay together to be safe. Now, come on. Oh, all right, Gusto said, wandering back into the group. But I can look after myself. You are bossy, Otto. He's right. Otto thinks he can make all the rules because he's the oldest one. Nero and all the other fathers were very glad that Otto was bossy. Yeah, I bet they were glad because they don't want the children to get eaten by the birds. They didn't have to worry about their chicks very much. Your Otto looks after them all beautifully, one said to Claudius. You must be very proud, Claudius. Claudius was very proud. Otto didn't know it, though. He came back to Claudius one night and called up at him. Claudius, am I bossy? Yes, said Claudius. Very. Oh, dear, Otto said. They keep telling me I am, but how else can I keep them safe? How else? Claudius said, you be bossy. First chicks always have to be bossy. You'll soon learn that. Page 23 is our next chapter and it's called Penguins Look After Each Other. What a lovely chapter. <laughs> because they live in such a cold climate, don't they, with all the dangers around them, they have to look after each other. Claudius blinked the sleep from his eyes like this. And he pointed his beak towards the voice at his feet. Yes, Otto, what is it? I have a very funny feeling in my tummy. It's an asking sort of feeling. <laughs> I bet he's going to ask a question. It's an asking sort of feeling. That sort of feeling he gets when he needs to ask a question. <laughs> an asking sort of feeling. What is it? You're hungry, I expect. What's hungry? Oh, so he's, he doesn't want to ask the question. He's actually hungry, but he doesn't know what it is. So his tummy's rumbling and he thinks it's sort of a sign that he needs to ask for something. It's an asking sort of question. An asking feeling in your tummy. I've got it too. We need something to eat. We'll have to go and see if the ladies are back from the sea. The ladies? Yes, they've been eating fish and things in the sea so they can feed you, feed you chicks. I'll find you a nice auntie and she'll feed you a shrimp soup. It's delicious. You'll like that and the empty feeling will go away for a bit. So 
the female penguins are getting the fish to, to feed the um, to feed the chicks. Will you have some too, Claudius? Well, no. I shall have to say goodbye to you and go off into the sea to find lots of food. I've had nothing to eat all winter and I'm very hungry. You mean you'll go away without me? Yes, Otto. You're not big enough to come to the sea yet. Oh, Otto was horrified. You wouldn't leave me, Claudius. I need you. No, you don't. I'll find a nice auntie to look after you and she'll be just as good as me and you'll still have me inside. That's the most important place. But I want you outside where I can see you. <laughs> Don't leave me, Claudius. Poor Otto was shattered. But Claudius began to lead him towards the sea and the journey was so interesting that Otto began to forget how miserable he was. He'd never been away from the penguins before. The white eyes stretched around them as far as he could see. The bottom of the world is very big, he said at last. I wonder if he still thinks he could fall off. That when you do when there's an egg. <laughs> yes, Antarctica is very big, Claudius said. Look over there. It's a seal on her pup. Otto looked. A huge creature lay on the ice with the smaller one cuddled up to her. Marvellous divers seals are. Claudius said. They can dive much deeper than us. Dive? Otto asked. Go a very long way down into the water, explained Claudius. You'll see them go past you when you're in the sea. What do they do when there's a blizzard? Otto said. He's obviously not forgotten that blizzard. He didn't like it at all. There don't seem to be any of us around to huddle with. Of course, because when it was a blizzard, they huddled together, didn't they, to keep themselves warm. He thinks the seal's all by itself, so it won't be able to huddle with all the others. No, nope, they just have to hope they've got enough blubber to keep warm. They're almost solid blubber, so they're all right. The chick, the pup, I mean, has a nice face, Otto said, as they got nearer to the seals. What are those hairy bits on its face? Whiskers, Claudius said. All seals have whiskers. Now look carefully at those seals because they're Weddell seals and they look a bit like leopard seals and you must learn never to get them mixed up. Why? asked Otto. Aren't leopard seals nice? No. Not nice at all. They eat penguins. Weddell seals only eat fish and things and they're quite harmless for penguins. But you must watch out for leopard seals when you first go to sea. Weddells have smaller heads and in time you'll learn the difference but first, it's best to keep away from all spotted seals. Otto suddenly stopped dead. Claudius, the ice is moving, he shouted. Look at it. That's the sea, Claudius said. <laughs> he thought the ice was moving and it was actually just the water, the sea. I guess that makes sense because water's melted ice. That's the sea. Claudius said, and look, there's someone coming to meet us. One of the ladies, I expect. There they are, that's the picture. The penguin coming out of the sea. Okay, thank you for listening so sensibly. I wonder if for next time we read our story, you could have a little think about how you, how you think Otto feels about Claudius going away. Is he excited? Because maybe Claudius will go and find some new adventure or bring something back for him. Is he worried to maybe be, be without Claudius for the first time? Is he relieved because he's hungry and he's going to get some food from one of the ladies coming from the sea? What do you think? Thank you for listening and bye for now. Bye.